Well, welcome to our Israel Spotlight. If it's your first time watching, each week we review the news and updates from Israel and the world and pray into them. We start with the tragic loss of four young IDF soldiers alongside seven seriously injured after triggering a booby trap in a building in Gaza. Three out of the four soldiers killed were Israeli men no older than 19 years of age. I just want to put this into perspective here, especially for those living in the UK. 19 years old is someone finishing secondary school and heading into college. They've barely lived their life and only starting now to find their feet in the world. It's heartbreaking to report on and think of the families being torn apart and losing loved ones because of this war. Alongside the loss of soldiers, a massive barrage of 230 plus rockets were fired at northern Israel from Lebanon by Hezbollah. This was a retaliation after a top Hezbollah commander was killed by Israel. Due to the explosion of the rockets, fires continue to engulf the forestry of Israel, which displaced hundreds of Israelis and Arabic people who live there. Sadly, these attacks show no sign of stopping, and each day we read how more and more rockets are being fired against Israel. Netanyahu has promised to once and for all eradicate the terrorist force that continues to plague the Jewish and Arabic people who live in the land. Hamas, the same terrorists who have built over 70 terror tunnels in hospitals, schools and children's bedrooms. These tunnels were used to smuggle rockets into the Gaza Strip. Cars and even trucks can drive through them. And Hamas continue to use guerrilla warfare-like tactics to protect themselves behind the innocent civilians they supposedly protect living in the land. This same Hamas are the ones Palestinian protesters refuse to condemn, yet are the very reason for this war. We cannot blame Israel for the actions of Hamas. Perhaps what you're not hearing on the news is the 11 field hospitals in central and southern Gaza to help care for the Palestinian population set up by the idea. Now that doesn't align with a genocidal attitude to me. It's time the Palestinian people realize who the true enemy is, Hamas. In recent leaked messages, Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar believes Palestinian deaths are necessary sacrifices. As long as the Israeli side suffer more death and the war is continued. In contrast to Hamas, the Israeli leadership recognize the importance of life and their people. In a complex military operation conducted by the IDF, four hostages were freed after being held captive for over 280 days. We rejoice and thank God for his protection over these hostages. And it is amazing to see families reunited with their loved ones after such a long and excruciating wait. Sadly, one soldier, Arnon Zamora, lost his life trying to save them. We also read reports of the vast lives lost on the Palestinian side due to this one rescue attempt, which we are devastated to hear of. Alongside the IDF soldiers is another preventable loss that was caused by the actions of Hamas. While the war rages on, Israelis try and make time to celebrate the Feast of Weeks, known as Shavuot, an event to celebrate God giving Moses the Torah on Mount Sinai. We praise the Lord that even in times of tribulation, his people can celebrate these feasts and surround themselves in his peace. In congregational news, Bed Kaim, a pro-life charity based in Jerusalem, worked tirelessly to help women choose to keep their babies and support them through their full-term pregnancy. Be'ad Chaim is able to offer moms practical, real help. We offer her three primary things. We offer her hope when she's in crisis pregnancy. We offer her healing if she's lost a baby in a place called the Gardens of Life, where trees are planted in honor of babies who were not being able to be held. And we offer her practical help through a special, wonderful project called Operation Moses. She hits her hotline. She says, I'm desperate. I need help. I don't know what to do. And our hotline counselor shows her mercy and compassion and that connects her with a local counselor in every major city across the country. Our goal is to be there for her and listen and provide what she needs. Thanks to the efforts of their counselors at Bed Kaim, we continue to see mothers and their babies being supported. An estimated 1.75 million babies have been born in 2024 in Israel. I contrast that to the 40,000 abortions per year that happen in Israel all the way to full term. If those numbers don't remind you, Israel is a sinful nation, just like they were thousands of years ago. Israel is not above reproach. We thank the Lord and take peace, knowing that despite what is happening around the world, we serve a God who keeps his promises. The promises that he made to the nation of Israel to sustain them. The promise of the Lord's return. Our God does not break his promises. And as it says in Jeremiah, as long as the sun, moon and stars continue to exist, Israel will not cease to be a nation before me, says the Lord. 
please continue to pray for Israel. This is God's chosen people, his nation, and for his name's sake. Thank you.